Hello there everyone on YouTube. So this is going to be slightly different to the videos I've been making before. Um, it's more of an informational technical video um, about Logic Pro 10. Now within Logic Pro 10 you have Melodyne built right into the interface which is a fantastic relief for singers like me because I cannot sing at all. In fact I'm a terrible singer. Um, and that will become evident as we progress through the video. Now, there's a simple piano piece here and a few strings uh, mimicking the Robbie Williams um, famous track Angels. Um, I've put some vocals on for our um, demonstration here on how to use Melodyne. So, for example, now I'm going to play the track um, just with the um, compressors on and the normal standard male ambient um, features. So this will give you like an idea of how it sounds without auto-tune, without any really modifications as such, only the default logic settings for voice. I sit and wait Does an angel Contemplate my fate Do they know the Places where we go When we're grey and old Okay, so that was pretty terrible But no worries, because we have Melodyne So what we need to do is we need to turn on the, the flex button up here So as you can see up there, you've got this purple thing. I've clicked it already, that's why it's purple. So you should have that feature. So you click that feature and then you should have these boxes pop up and you want to select the flex mode. So we need to flex the pitch, which is gonna change the key of each little individual note we want to change. So we select the flex pitch and you see automatically um, it was already judged where my voice is on the scale of a keyboard. And we can see that better within the edit view. So let me just zoom out here so we can start to see where my voice is. Okay, so if I just zoom in again on a specific track we want to focus on, which is just going to be pretty much the beginning for now. So we can see that the first bit of the, the track, my voice there, so that's where my voice is. Now you can see um, where Melodyne thinks the note should be, which is here, and my voice goes all the way down and up here. So what you can do, what you can do an overall is you can select one, press Command A, and that will select all the notes for the entire track. And then you can go to Quantize over here, and you can select the key of the song, which is in E major. So that has now just changed the key to E major. Now you can change the actual correction. So this has changed it to the next available key, but we can drag the notes more within the guidelines by dragging that up to 100% and that drags it right onto the key, right onto the note. But we haven't actually adjusted the actual wavelength yet. So if you listen to this and see if it sounds any better just with the normal um, quantized settings. I sit and wait Does an angel Contemplate my fate Okay, so as you can tell, it's already dragged my voice um, within um, the, the actual key that it's nearest to. Now, it's still not perfect because my voice wasn't even near the key it's meant to be in. Um, but that's just for this demo anyway, it doesn't really matter. So you've got different tools available to you as well. So, for example, we've dragged this the main note up to the right key for example but as we can see the waveform is actually going all the way down because my notes changing from from like a G up there it's going all the way down to a D so what we need to do is grab the we can grab the vibrato tool here actually and just drag we, with them all still selected it will drag them all and you can drag them all to within the line this will sound more more sort of like T-Pain effect so if we listen to this now you'll see the difference Sit and wait. Does an angel contemplate my fate? So, as you can tell, instantly 
it's dragged my whole voice up to a note and you can actually drag it to whichever note you want to in the scale so you So as you can tell, it literally drags your voice to any note you actually need. And if you go through each of those, change it to the actual note it needs to be, you have a perfect T-Pain song. Well done. Now to make it sound more human and to try and hide the fact that you're using it, you wouldn't want to drag this waveform too much out of where your you won't want it so much of a flat line basically because that would make it sound so robotic and unhuman like as you've just heard you want to keep it as natural as possible so just by dragging the note and not changing that waveform it's quite hidden and you wouldn't want to quantize to like a 100% pitch correction you might just want to transfer it a bit so you're a bit out of tune but not noticeable to the ear really unless you get a trained professional so that's the basics of how to use Melodyne and what most people in the industry actually do use now is, is Auto-Tune as well, which is a separate separate but similar plugin. So with Auto-Tune, it's a, a live automatic tuning. So you select your key and, it, and you select your quantized percentage and it will drag you to the nearest note of that key automatically. Whereas this, this is more of a tuning, so you're taking the time out to drag, drag your specific voice to the right note which is what most of the professionals do. So it's not mostly auto-tune you hear in the charts, it's actually a manual tune process done like this. So for each track, you would do this function. So as you can see up here as well, I have two audio tracks. Um, I would need to perform this step on both the audio, audio tracks. Uh, and the reason for this, this is, well, this method here would be using a method called double taking. So I put my, I record the same track twice, different, obviously differently, and I would pan them 30% one way, 30% the other way. And that way you've got the double taking effect. Now you can't just copy the original track down there as your voice would phase with, with, the, with yourself and it would sound really robotic-y anyway, even without auto-tune. So you'd have to record it separately twice, just with the same timings and it should be absolutely fine. And obviously, if you're a better singer than I am, which I'm sure everyone probably is, then um, you shouldn't have any problems and you should be able to use this software and make yourself sound that much better. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Uh, if you've got any questions about um, any of this software or how to use Melodyne in more in depth, please message me and I'll go further into it if you want me to. But yes, thank you for watching and I shall be posting more informational random videos in the future. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you want to. Thank you very much.